Well, hello everybody. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Swamp Fox audits soon to be coming at you. Swamp Fox news right now. Like, subscribe, and share. Uh, just out here in the beautiful countryside. I'm at a client's house. Um, doing some work. Just going to show you all a little bit of what we do. Um, right out here, you see we're replacing a lot of the flooring the deck flooring that was rotted and you see these six by six posts down here we replaced all them throughout the, the throughout the whole house this is a true log cabin with uh some veneer and some add-on places but it used to have the posts like that all the true log posts and um, they're all kind of rotted out if you see that one right there it's rotted at the bottom a little bit so we're taking all them out and putting six by six posts in, replacing the deck flooring. Uh, like right here, um, these are true logs um, the, that came with the house. So he wanted to try to keep them. So what we did down here was took out a lot of the rot and repaired it uh, using a, uh, a wood filler. It's made by Bondo and people laugh, but it's a wood filler Bondo and it works really well. And the post itself is strong. It just had some rot down here in a few places, but it was still solid um, three quarters of the way through. So it's, you know, it's structurally sound. Uh, it's not a problem. So again, but the good thing about this stuff is you can work it and shape it. So as you see the natural, um, how, to, how the wood was cut in the beginning, uh, you know, you can naturally fo f follow it down and make it look exactly like that. Um, see how it's... Kind of looking octagon you know so anyway you're just filling it in now i'm gonna i still got to do some more work on this this one here is actually not done um but you do it in stages you add and you sand you add and you sand until all of it's filled in like little places like that you know all that'll get filled in all this stuff down here at the bottom and it'll be sanded and reshaped to it all looks like it's supposed to um, and we're having now some of them we did have to now this one here had to be cut But what we did again, he wants to save as much of the pole as possible. It's original with the house The house was built I think in 82 um, So what we did down here is um, Because post around it is, is strong enough and this is still a good solid uh, Post what we did was from the bottom after we jacked up the porch We ran a real long screw with a real good wood adhesive in here so it's bonded together. We put it back down. It's screwed from the bottom. Um, uh, it's it screwed from the bottom also, so it's secured to the deck. It's holding fine. It's not a problem at all. But um, uh, we're going to go through and fill all the checks. You see where all the wood is split. And we're going to go through and fill all that. It's got a lot of sanding and all that needs to be done. Um, got to sand and scrape all this old paint off. And uh, we're going to be priming and painting the whole house. But again, we're, excuse me, we started with the deck, um, removing all the old wood and stuff. And uh, we're working on that. This is the big project I told you we was working on. Um, taking up a lot of time because it's detail work. All of this is brand new. Now this is veneer. This is a, this is a, uh, in addition, it's the garage, but all of this veneer has been replaced. It's all been taken off, all the rotted stuff taken off and been replaced, and around the back side also. Um, now, some of this is still some of the old stuff because it wasn't rotted. We're going to clean it up, get rid of the old uh, flake paint, you know, sand and scrape that off, do a good prime on it, seal it up. Shoot a couple good coats of paint on it. You see how this is the veneer. This was a corner piece. And it's just, you know, it fits in there. And This was an addition that was built. This is the media room. It's an addition that was built. I swear they watch video, movies, and stuff with the family. It's really nice. Now this here was pretty much okay we just have to peel some paint some flaking paint and whatnot same thing back here but back here 
um, we had to replace these posts back here also and we're going to have to replace some decking boards back here you see they're rotted in a few places they're rotten back here see so we're going to replace them we had to take the boards out but they was rotten right there too so we're going to replace a couple of these decking boards also but all this veneer here also was replaced uh recently we just got through doing that and uh one of my main guys, Fred, he's awesome. Um, he's a really good roof. He can do all kind of stuff. Anyway, this is, as you see, we got we to gotta scrape all this old flaking paint. Scrape it, sand it real good. Try to get as much off of it as possible. Shoot two good, I mean, shoot a good coat of oil base. Paint on it, uh, primer on it, and then two top coats of paint. Sew it right up. As you see, we already done a lot of sanding over here. It's been raining the last couple of days. So it's been kind of, uh, been kind of sickening. <laughs> I mean, God knows what we need. We need the rain, that's for sure. But he don't work on our schedule. We work on his. So um, I thank him for everything he does for me. So anyway, this is one of the big projects. Now, again, we do... Uh, service calls uh, we'd get them they come in at any time so here's another area and you know only because again these posts are secure they're solid still they have a lot of the meat left and they can support the weight is why we're building this back up um with the with the bondo i don't normally like using bondo i wouldn't use it say for instance if i'm working on a house that's got uh some kind of shiplap siding or say a cedar siding or something that I can get readily available and it didn't come original with the house and it doesn't really matter. It's like you can get it anywhere at Lowe's or Home Depot or places like that. Then I'm going to replace it over um, repairing it with uh, Bondo and stuff. But it does work. As you see, this is just another log right here. That's kind of, sun's kind of getting it. And this log was bigger, uh, so I shaped it down with a, with a saw i shaped it down with a sawzall and i'm gonna be sanding it and i'll feather it in by the time it's all done you see it still looks like a little wide right there um i left the other day when i was working on this corner so i'll finish that out today and uh and you know work on a bunch of these other posts but as you see the six by sixes down there these are some of them that we already installed going through so this is some of the stuff i do guys just wanted to touch base and show you all this and let y'all know what what's what but uh anyway i'm gonna go ahead and go i'll post they got a beautiful uh, lake over there these are really good um these people are like family to me i've been doing work for them for 19 years now so um, i'm really close to them they're awesome i love coming out here i go swimming and fishing in their little lake over there if you see the little they have like a three and a half acre stock pond and um you fish and swim it's just a lot of fun but um but anyway you get to see uh you know i told you yesterday i love birds of prey so a lot of times i'll come out here and uh you'll see uh eagles and stuff uh, bald eagles will dive down and catch a fish and osprey and things like that hawks there's all kind of hawks uh, they have 100 acres out here so they have a deer come up here all the time if you see the deer stand right there they love hunting and i love it because i don't um uh they give me deer meat all the time is great and uh see the deer stand right there so they got deers that come up here and eat and whatnot and they don't shoot the deer on their property to let them kind of live but they they are hunters um and they have fox i've seen red fox out here um uh, several families of them and of course rabbits and squirrels and pot, you know anything you can think of you know, we are in south carolina so but it's beautiful out here i love it um maybe later i'll go throw a line in the uh, fishing pole uh, line out in the water and see if i can't catch something if i do i'll post it but uh, i love you guys thank you all for subscribing like share and uh god bless everyone and y'all have a great day